take a look at this. I just got it in the mail. I ordered this off of Massdrop. For those people that don't know what Massdrop is, it's like a purchasing community. They uh, pick products, they go to the manufacturer, they say, hey, we buy so many, what kind of price discount are you going to give us? So this is uh, NASTEC 26,800 milliamp battery, backup battery. It's got the quick charge 3.0. And it's got a uh, quick charge for itself and it also senses so like it won't overcharge or apply too much power to a unit that it's charging like a phone charges at a different amp rate usually than like an iPad it has two ports an input port it has uh, a meter on there to tell you how much charge you have and so forth aircraft covered or the uh, casing is aircraft aluminum. So let's break it out, and take a quick look. And so mass drop. So this was actually a really good deal. Some of the deals on mass drop are really good. Some of them are okay. But this one here was advertised for $99 on Amazon. And on mass drop it was $59. And then so the drops only go for so long you get like a week or two to get enough people to buy into it to pick up the unit itself and if everybody if they get enough people you'll get it at the price the lowest price so just to give you an idea what's in the box here's the unit one good size battery and i just opened this for the first time a little dusty but looks in really nice shape some protective plastic here on the cover. I like mass drop. The thing to remember with mass drop is, is it happens when the when they have something that goes on sale. Then you only get that time to buy it. Sometimes they'll bring them back on really good deals. Uh, not as much good deals what the people buy into. So. It's not like going to a store where you can just say, hey, I want to buy a battery today. It's like you get a notice from MassDrop saying you, they have communities like uh, EDC, typewriter, keyboard, or keyboards, uh, hobby, and a few others, sewing and some other stuff. And you sign up to which ones you're interested in. And then uh, they send you notices when things come out on those communities. So accessories, let's see what they gave us. Pretty well packaged, even though it's all going to go into garbage, so I tend to wonder. So wall charger for it, quick charge. Let's see if I can see here. Looks like 5 amps. That's a pretty heavy duty little charger. Cable. And then a manual. How much more you're going to ever get? Two year warranty on it. So, a little how to register card, instruction sheets, how to use it, and so forth. Important notice. Probably something you'll have to read. Charging at higher voltage is restricted to sleep and standby modes. Let's see if we can get the display screen to come on. Well, so it looks like it's, I would say that's probably saying 69% charge. One thing, this does not have a flashlight because I really don't care. I think that's like one of the most ridiculous things to have on your battery backup is a flashlight. I'm sorry, but it's my battery backup. It's not my flashlight. I have a flashlight for having to be a light. So to me, that is like a big null point. It's nice to have a you know read out and this would probably let's see here let me plug it into your iPhone real quick and see if we get some kind of if it changes anything oh of course it's got a full charge on it so it's not going to tell me and since it's fully charged, it's not showing it being needing a charge. 
I don't think I have. I just charged my work phone. I don't have everything at this time that needs charged. But it's really solid feeling. Well, well worth. It was uh, right around $67 to my house with uh, shipping on it. It would have been 107 to my house on Amazon because it was $99 and 7% sales tax. Well worth the money. Well worth the money. And if you camp, if you carry any gear with you, like uh, iPhone, if you're using that for navigation or whatever, communication, or if you're carrying a, a, GoPro, or a GoPro, you definitely need something like this to charge them up. Yep, so I'll put a link to MassDrop on there and also the information that on this. If you have any questions, let me know. Sorry, I haven't been doing a bit of videos, but I'll be getting more out. I'll start working on a little bit more. If you have anything that you want to see or questions about that I've done or that I may have and I haven't posted, I got, a, you know, quite a bit of gear here and there. So drop me a note. Let me know what you're looking for. All right. Thanks again. Have a good day.